Well, hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel, where today I do have more Hull City news for you after our 1-0 win in a Yorkshire derby against Barnsley yesterday. I do have a lovely new um, news roundup from the past couple of days. So we'll break right into it with some news about one of the Vaughns, not Harry Vaughan, but Vaughan Coville. So um, he played six games, uh, six or seven games at the start of last season under Shotter Avalazed. He picked up an injury and it put him out for the rest of the season. He's not really had too much game time under Liam Rosinia, especially in this pre-season. Um, so, um, notice have been coming out that Shelbourne, Hull City's partners, have actually looked into possibly signing the Hull City youngster um, on for a loan deal of maybe six months to a full season. So that one's uh, up in the air at the moment, a half season or a full season loan, or possibly no loan. Uh, personally, I do think that it'll probably be best for him to go on uh, maybe a half season loan up until January. Um, I think that'll be the best for him and also Shelbourne. Um, as it'll be able to give him a little bit more match experience, especially bringing his fitness back up after having uh, no real competitive action um, since his seven games or whatever it was um, at the start of last season. So that'll be good for him. Um, and then possibly at the end of them, uh, in the end of January, when he returns back to Hull City, we could see if our situation is in need of, um, of Von Covild's help, or we could loan him out to another side um, in the EFL, possibly a League One side, to gain the competitive edge um, that he is. Um, he came to us with when we signed him uh, for our academy last summer. So so that I think will be probably the best scenario for him, unless Liam Rosina is planning on including him straight into the whole city lineup, or possibly shoving him down into the under twenty ones to gain his match fitness and match experience there. That could be a, another possibility. Right, uh, this one's coming out from um, Newcastle. A little bit of an update on that Carl Darlow deal that fell through. So this is coming from Magpie247 on Twitter. Uh, Newcastle's refusal to lower their asking price for Carl Darlow led to a collapse of proposal of transfers to both Hull City and Middlesbrough. So both of us have been knocked out of the running. Bournemouth and Leeds both remain interested, but Newcastle have maintained that they won't be shifting their demands of a very reasonable, what they say, £5 million. Uh, pounds. Hull's boss, Liam Rosina, uh, said on Carl Dallo, I don't think Carl is someone that will be joining us. Carl is someone I've loved working with. He's an outstanding goalkeeper, but the price that Newcastle are speaking about is something that we can't do this summer. I'm disappointed, but that's football. And then Cardalo has also got two years left on his Newcastle contract. So whether he sees that out at Newcastle or moves this summer, that remains to be seen. He did start, he did play some minutes yesterday I saw on Instagram um, in Newcastle's win over Rangers at the, um, up, up in Scotland. So whether that's something that possibly is just to keep his fitness up or whether Newcastle are sort of like now closing off doors on deals to keep him for another half season season. That remains to be seen. So, possibly Cardalo an investment for the future for Hull City, judging by Liam Rosini's words. Um, a little bit of transfer news coming out of the academy. Jake Leake has joined League Two side Tranmere Rovers on a season-long loan. Um, the new defender has also signed a new contract with Hull City. Um, so, best of luck to Jake. Um, I know that he has appeared a few times in pre-season for Hull City. And he's done quite a good job. Um, I've been um, impressed with what I've seen from him. So, um, best of luck to him. Um, this is coming out from yesterday's game where George Cox was officially announced on the team sheet, but he did adopt the number 12 rather than number three. Um, and Lewis Railton won put out on Twitter um, that this could possibly mean that Ruben Vinagre could be taking the number three at Hull City. Obviously, number three has become available since Callum Elder's departure um, towards the end of last season. Da -da -da. Um, this is coming from Baz Cooper. Baz Cooper, big reliable source for Hull City News on Twitter. Um, I believe that he is the uh, representative of Hull City um, for Hull Daily Mail. I believe so. Uh, so someone's asked him if there's any news on Vinagre, because obviously, I mean, we've had Jason Lakilo come in and Vinagre was rumoured um, to have been done years before Jason Lakilo was even thought about as a Hull City target. 
Um, so he's come through saying, believe international clearance came through a short time ago. So we'd expect the announcement in the next couple of days. Uh, this was released yesterday. Has to be coordinated with Sporting Lisbon, so not entirely down to Hull City. So it could possibly be another case of Conrad, where, where, what we had in January, where he only didn't sign because um, his um, original club, I think Olympiacos, I may be mistaken on that, um, were not ready, were, weren't ready to terminate his contract in time. He was at Humberside Airport, he was ready to sign the deal. That was a um, disappointing one. He could possibly still be coming in this summer window, but um, it seems that with Vinagre, that's the happening now. But we've got a lot more time for it to be sorted out. So Vinagre, possibly in the next couple of days. I feel like he could keep on saying that every time I bring up his name. Do 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 the under 21s yesterday they won as well a 5 1 win against Bridlington Town. Um, goals coming from um Hall, Pallet, and Lecce, and then a brace coming from Trialist A. Obviously, um, the uh, under 21s have had a lot of the trialists coming through, so it's they're starting to name them Trialist A through to like H, I think, in the lot. In one of the games, I had a, a full list of trialists, and people were saying, like, oh. This uh, this guy called Trials has been having a lot of kids. Um, yeah, it's a it's a funny little joke that. Right, um, a lot of news on Aaron Connolly. So Aaron Connolly, um, as you can see on the screen, uh, was pictured in a Hull City kit from last season, his training kit from last season, still with his number on, number 14, um, in the gym. And um, news came out today that he has not joined Brighton on their pre-season travels. Uh, Connolly has instead posted this um, photo, uh, video on Instagram, on his Instagram, so you can check it out, where he's in, I believe, that his personal gym um training in a whole city kit whether that is something that um he is sort of saying like i am coming don't worry or if it's just whatever he's picked out of his wardrobe uh that one remains to be seen whole live have reportedly um had the deal arranged um from last week so this could possibly be a little bit of foreshadowing set up by aaron Connolly. so that one is um something nice um, a bit of news on our brand new signing, Jason Lakilo. Um, he's just come out saying, I'm happy to be here. Let's work with an Amber Loveheart. Love that from him, the, uh, the, the good man. Um, I thought I'd bring you this, um, chant that someone's brought whilst we're on Jason Lakilo. Um, so someone on, on Twitter. I think it's one, probably one of the better chants we've seen from Twitter. Um, so I'll do a little rendition now. <clears throat> Wake me up before you go, go. Who needs Keener when you've got Lucky Olo? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it probably will uh, become the chant for Jason Lakilo, who does join us on a two-year deal with that extra option. Um, a bit of news coming out from um, Adrian Ilajali, who um, sort of just brought out a nice little message rounding off the season, um, pre-season tour in Turkey. Um, he brought out a nice video, um, so you can check that one on his socials. But here's his little message he put out. My team's trip to Turkey last week was special for me. Uh, the good days we spent with our players and some of our fans made me feel like we were a real family. When I bought this club, we started out by saying one family one dream. And I felt that every day. My team's trip to Turkey uh, was, last week was special for me. Has he just repeated it twice? He's repeated it twice. Oh no, I see what's happened here. I've translated the tweet, but then he also put the English underneath. So I've translated the English into English, but also the Turkish into English. So I've got the same... Yeah, I've, I've just messed up there. I apologise. I, I, a thousand apologies. A thousand apologies. Yeah. So, um... It's all, it's all, uh, it's all good news coming out of the whole city camp. I think, um, obviously, we'd like to see some of these deals come actually into fruition that we've been rumoured with. Um, it seems that Ruben Vinagre is possibly the next one that will be announced. Um, whether that be before Bradford on Saturday, who knows? Um, but it could be a case of Jason Lacolo um, actually playing. Um, against Bradford on Saturdays. He didn't play yesterday. I presume that was just because the deal's just come through. He wants to see how the team pan out. So, yes, that's it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe so we'll have plenty more news and content coming out and maybe a few extra spicy videos, but not spicy like that, but yeah. Um, so, yes, I'll catch you over there. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of that because who needs Kano when you got lucky old low?